Hello friends, Doug Fink, 16 time Microsoft MVP. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you the latest GitHub Copilot coding agent. And I'm gonna show you how you can check in things like sales.csv and then create an issue that says, take this data, make it an interactive HTML page, give me some insights on it, uh, and give me an HTML page that I can use. I'm not gonna do that manually, I've created a GitHub action that can actually detect when a file gets checked in, and then it will actually create the issue for you, and then we'll show you how you can kick it off with a GitHub Copilot. It's gonna be great. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification, so you know when I publish more videos like this. Let's do it. Okay, so here I have a test viz file uh, folder and I have a repo that's called test fizz. I have a bunch of uh, files we're going to work with. First up we have our github workflows and in that I have a data file issue yaml. We're not going to go through how this works. You can I'll have a link in the description. You can check out how it's created and you can take it and use it in your own uh, repos. Uh, but basically it just checks to see if a CSV file JSON XLSX is pushed into the main branch. If it is, it gets this gets triggered. When it does, it figures out what files have changed and then it for each file that's got been changed, it'll take this template also I created. It will figure out the file path in the GitHub action and then it'll take it and uh, drop that into this template and all I'm doing is saying uh, part of the template saying for the task is to do analysis, pull insights from the data, create a single interactive HTML page with the data embedded. Here are the requirements. I want an introduction to the information in the data. I want uh, to display the data in a table and create appropriate charts for the data. Outro to the information. So this is all as an instruction to the GitHub Copilot coding agent. Basically, this is a prompt. And part of the prompt is the name of the file to work on. And because this is all happening inside of the coding agent in GitHub uh, Copilot, it knows how to look at the repo, pull out the data in the repo, and uh, then apply these different prompts to it. Also part of this that I'm gonna check in is I have a file called sales CSV. I have a file called sales JSON. And I have a file called sales.xlsx. All three of these are the same, just saved in different formats. So I'm gonna put the agent through its paces. I have a sales dupe.csv. In it, I have the same data and I have a couple of duplicated records. I wanna see how it handles that. Also embedded in a file, in a subfolder, folder, I have something called employees.json, okay? So once again, I'm gonna have a standard template. When all these get checked in, we're gonna let it rip and see how the coding agent handles this template over all these different formats. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna generate a commit message, not really important, because I'm just the first time checking in. Do a commit, I'm gonna publish this branch, and then we'll just pop over to the repo. We'll go to actions, and uh, let's wait for the workflow to kick off. You can see I checked everything in, into the repo. And uh, we can see that it got triggered and it created, went through and created the issues. Up here, you can see there were five issues created. So because of that GitHub action, it found the five different files that I checked in and it went ahead and created issues in the repo. And right, so here's the template I had. Uh, they'll all be the same. The only thing different will be the file to work on. So. We'll just take a look at one more. Uh, same template, same layout. Just gonna work on sales.xlsx. And it knows that's the root. It knows that the employees is in the HR directory. Now comes the cool part. Go back to the issues. I can batch select this, click on assign, and now I'm gonna assign Copilot to this. And it's that simple. Bulk update is pending, it completed. And if I refresh, we now have five pull requests. So what happened was, by setting all those, by setting an issue to assign it to uh, Copilot, Copilot comes back in, drops a, a pair of eyes, say a Copilot's looking at it, and the first thing it does is it branches uh, the main, 
and it creates a pull request and it goes to work. Okay, we're gonna let that cook. Let's take a look at the uh, actions. We should see a bunch. So in parallel, so if you put in one file or five files or 20 files, uh, you sign as, as many issues that you assign to Copilot. Copilot will in parallel go and do the work. It will do it in isolation because it does it in its own branch. Um, we'll take a look at one of these. See, this is all the stuff it's doing. It's checking out files. It's installing a couple of things. We're going to let this run. It'll take a few minutes and then we'll come back and uh, we'll walk through the results. Okay, so one of them finished. It took about five minutes. The uh, tech employee analysis was done. And we're gonna drill in on this PR. Notice the other ones are still WIP work in progress. So let's drill in on this one. And we can see that the code, uh, coding agent actually gave you a nice uh, summary of about the features, technical implementation, and it even did a bunch of basic check-ins as it went. That's really cool. And we also got a, uh, a branch. We can take a look at the branch. And in here we can see that it created an employee analysis HTML. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, it's gonna pop back over here to Visual Studio. And I am going to bring up GitHub. And here's all the different ones that I did all the PRs. Here's the interactive one. I'm going to right mouse click and check. And then we can take a look at the employees analysis. Okay. And go to command line, see if that helps. We can load it up into our browser and we can see this is the tech employee analysis. Uh, it gives us a nice, at the, so I took that CSV file and it calculated the total employees, the average salary, they are, uh, they have, uh, whether or not they're remote or not, um, how many departments were in there, and we can see that 50% of the folks are, are remote workers. Um, notice on the remote, it actually colorizes the yes and no. Uh, it took the salaries, which were just numbers, and it gave us uh, dollar signs and commas, so it formatted it nicely. And then we get a bunch of data visualizations. Employees by department, Salary, average salaries, uh, distributions, remote, offline, and in office. And then at the end, it gives us key insights. Basically, what we saw today is uh, I took a, we have a GitHub workflow, do it one time. Um, and then you can keep checking in files and you can put them in the root or you can put them into their own subdirectories. And once they're checked in, everything. The, uh, the workflow will get kicked off. The GitHub action will go into play. It will create an issue. Then you can come back to your issues later on. And then you can ch check off the ones that you want and then bulk apply that and say, hey, I want Copilot to look at this. Copilot will kick off and it will read the issue that gets automatically generated. And it will figure out what it needs to do with the data and come up with really cool reports. And again, right, the the issue template is uh, 20 lines long, really simple, and you can make this as involved as you want to get as much information out of it as you'd like. Too much information, too much uh, prompting, too much context will make uh, the co-pilot get confused, uh, but you can do a lot more than 20 lines. You can probably go to 100, 150, um, and ask for all kinds of different things depending on the types of data. Um, hope you like what you saw. Hope you like seeing Copilot in action on GitHub repos. Stay curious.